I grew up there where I was often lost in those northwestern rainforests. And I know John Fetterman looks just like me. <laughs> um, my first career was in biochemistry. I only mention it because um, this is my second career. I'm a professor of drawing and painting at York College, and this time it stuck. I've stuck with this one for 17 years. This presentation is going to just be a step-by-step -step movement through the kind of artwork that led one from another and where I am right now. Most of those things are about me being lost. At first, I made work about bridging my old career as a scientist with the tradition and the new practice of an artist, hijacking the language of science, repurposing and misusing things like bacterial growth in a petri dish, comparing mapping of species diversity. This is a transformational painting for me. Uh, it's a painting where everything changes afterwards. I started to think about bacteria in a petri dish or really huge things and where I fit within that. Are we like bacteria? Or are we like chipmunks staring through the trees at something grand? Or are we more like God, bigger, capable of grander things? I looked at the surface of the sun. I looked at the little teeniest things. When you smash atoms together, how do those atoms come apart and what do they look like? Like sparks, like something tiny, but where do we fit in that? And then I had kids and so everything fell apart. I started keeping a sketchbook and documented our routes. Um, found ways that I could translate our trips through Wisconsin. These are my kids' favorite um, insults. Pris, a generic anger word. Idget is what it sounds like. And hunk pig means you're stealing too many of the french fries. Um, ske my sketchbook itself became important. And so I started to draw the people around me, which got boring. And so then I started dressing them up in greyhound clothing. I showed the ways that they interacted. It was a way for me to see people as expressive things, to recombine them, to put them together in groups of large movements of people to see if I could put us as individuals into something greater. How do we interact? How do I put groups of these twos or threes? Can I recombine them in ways to talk about new ideas through slapping together um, intensity, obsession, and surety on the left and um, contrast it or synergize it with companionable curiosity, watching without fear? Uh, these two, what do they become when you put them together? Who do they become? Who do we become as we do this? And these, I have to admit, are a little bit about self-portraits. That moment when I have circled my, enter my enemy with anger in my eyes or been outraged, um, futile with ineffective rage. Wait, we just had an election, didn't we? No. Um, and so, uh, but it's also about that wonder, that feeling of being humbled, uh, about being um, a part of something larger than yourself, about escaping for a moment. In fact, at this time, it was right at the beginning of the pandemic, I started to run really long distances, I think to escape something or other. That's, uh, that, that's me over there. <laughs> They're both me. Um, and in fact, Artists make a lot of self-portraits. This dog, um, well, it's, it's excited, interested in the wonder of the universe. That me over there is mosquito bitten, 27 miles into a 35 mile run. I didn't know where I was going exactly and I got lost often. This isn't a transformational painting, it's a transitional one. I'm trying to figure out where I am. We get lost. Let's not pretend like we're found all the time. This is some moment where I found myself and decided to document it through paint. And this is a transformational painting, one where I found that moment when the, the wind was blowing, where I was tired and bug bitten, and where I was exhausted and ready to quit. And I saw a moment of beauty that was extraordinary, a quick fleeting moment where I got the strength to continue on and find myself and move on. It gave birth to the Wayfind series. These are a series of paintings done where I got lost. I had to stop. I had to be exhausted, usually dehydrated. 
and find a moment in that long, long run where I found both strength and documented the space. It's about the movement of the wind against your skin, but it's also about that scary storm on the horizon, the distance that we feel and the loneliness that sometimes you can feel um, in those spaces. But ultimately, I think this series is hopeful because most of the series are about finding a moment of overlook, of seeing where the clouds mix with the light, where the distance becomes larger than yourself, where you can see down and get a sense of how small and how big you are at once. I have faith in the future. It's embarrassing. Uh, I, I want to believe that um, good things, that hope is going to happen, that this isn't the worst and it's gonna stay the worst. This is a trail where I am stuck in the trees and lost and, as usual, dehydrated, and finding that I will find that moment beyond those trees where the sun comes, where I figure it out, oh yeah, it's the rail trail, <laughs> and, um, and have that moment where I realize at the end of it, um, my wife's gonna be mad at me, but she will also give me tomato soup. Those moments of peaceful tranquility are the reasons why I have run. Um, I, but it's also a place where I found out that the world is bigger than myself, that I can be lost, and yet that's a wonderful thing, to have a universe that is so much larger than me, that where I am such a small thing. This place was hot, it made me feel small, but it was peaceful, and it was windless, and it was a moment of stillness that I carry with me still. And we're back to more transformational paintings. Um, I don't know where I am. I'm in a moment where I don't know what I'm painting or why. These look like the maps that I showed you originally, the beginning moments of petri dishes and large-scale explosions. Uh, these paintings, I'm stuck in the trees, in the brambles, and I'm stuck in some hardship. If you look at this drawing, it's a really large drawing, about as big as you can reach. And, um, it, and it's broken, but it still stands. And, um, and I don't know where it's gonna go. I'm still lost. I think I should leave you with that. <laughs>